so i watched the first glimpse of project k and it does look good to me the least i could say after looking at the teaser is that the director nag ashwin is ambitious about this movie yes i know that the movie is giving some dune vibes but i'm ready to give this film a chance i watched the dystopian films like mad max fury road now i'm curious to see how an indian filmmaker would explore a dystopian universe I won't lie. When I saw the first look poster of Prabhas in Project K, I didn't like it. It looks like a fan-made poster. Those flying rocks, the cracks on the ground, the sparks and that yellowish color tone. The poster just looks so amateurish for a 600 crore movie. Would you believe that it's a poster from a 600 crore film? I won't. When the makers announced that they were going to reveal its first look at the San Diego Comic Con, I assumed that these guys mean business and are confident that they are creating a world-class product. As much as I know, it was the first ever time for an Indian film to reveal its material at the San Diego Comic Con. So Now, here are the shots I liked. They are putting a woman in some kind of triangle. I have no idea what's going on here. Is that person dead or is that some kind of futuristic way of cremating people? I would admit from the distance the look of that robot looks impressive to me that robot may be in some hindu temple as if i'm not wrong that looks like a shivling to me i'm sure that person right there is amitabh bachchan's character looks like he's going to be playing some kind of mysterious and hundreds of years old man who's protecting something maybe he's assigned as the protector of that temple then there's prabhas's character who i don't know is doing what but the tech on his wrist looks highly futuristic to me now this is the kind of color grading i want the film to have instead of that overused over saturated yellow color scheme now here's what i didn't like there are some parts in the project case first look where the vfx and cgi looks really noticeable and even bad like this shot here i think the blue color grading should have been darker giving this shot a serious tone The weapons that those guys are holding here I won't take them seriously they just look so non lethal and new to me black or gray color scheme would have worked better for those weapons and there's another shot that just looks artificial to me maybe it's that light color tone have they used some kind of crowd multiplication vfx here because the movements of those guys look so uniform to me instead of being fast and chaotic the way they should be in a battle Anyway, Project K seems like a really ambitious film to me. It's going to be a dystopian sci-fi action flick. There are big stars like Prabhas, Deepika Padukone, Amitabh Bachchan and of course Kamal Hassan who's playing the main villain in the film. They haven't revealed his look yet. But I'll be honest, I'm just not able to take the first look of Project K that seriously. I wanted to see something like Dune or Mad Max Fury Road, a post-apocalyptic environment where there's water crisis. If the first look of Project K had more practical effect shots instead of those sci-fi VFX and CGI shots like Salar just as an example, then I think I would have really liked it. The movie is releasing in January 2024 means there's lot of time for the makers to polish their product. So these were my thoughts on the first glimpse of Project K. Now you let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. And here's a movie recommendation. The Roundup No Way Out. It's a South Korean crime action film. A third film in the Crime City series after The Outlaws and The Roundup. The movie stars Don Lee as a police officer who investigates a murder case and then comes across the involvement of a drug racket behind it. The reason I watched this film is because I just love seeing Don Lee beat the shit out of bad guys. His character is just so badass. If you liked this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and stay updated of my upcoming videos by subscribing to Style and Punch and following us on Instagram. Take care and see you in another video.